everybody, Dr. Perlman, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make a quick video about what can I do to decrease pressure on my low back. So if you've been struggling with lower back pain, and I'm not talking about uh, serious disc herniations or, or like, you know, debilitating back pain, but this one's geared more towards runners and athletes and lower back pain. So what we have to remember is when we go running, we end up with something that's known, at least in the exercise field, or the exercise science field as being quad dominant. So we spend a bit too much time in like this forward leaning position. A lot of us are heel strikers, but then we translate on a flat foot and we end up being quad dominant, which causes a lot of tightness around our knees, uh, commonly associated with wear and tear on the knees, but that's probably not true most of the time. So when we're going running, we're holding ourselves very stable. And a lot of the times, not only is our core nice and tight and engaged, but it's really to keep our lumbar spine from becoming immobile, we keep it very stable. But what happens is the erector muscles and the quadratus lumborum muscles and the front psoas muscles get so tight around our, around our lumbopelvic area and our core when we're running that in actuality, our glutes and our glute meds and our adductor groups, so we're talking about three various groups just within the pelvic floor and our, uh, the back of our legs and of course our butts, our gluteus muscles become uh, inhibited, they get churned off. So oftentimes what you'll see elite runners doing is a lot of abduction of the leg. So they're kicking their leg out to the side, finding ways to isolate their glute meds. They're doing proper lunges and proper squats and then doing things like I've showed in many of my videos, cat cows and glute bridges to actually churn on their glute muscles to work their uh, stabilizer muscles that can be inhibited from you know, long-term or excess running or excess running. So when we're thinking about going for longer runs, or even if we're doing a lot of running training, we can't forget to make sure not, not, we don't just stretch afterwards. Yes, stretching is very good. Let's get those tight muscles stretched very carefully, very sophisticated. Let's, let's do the right stretches that our body needs, but let's activate and turn back on our gluteus muscles, our glute medius muscles, our adductor groups, our you know, tensor fascia lata will get rolled out oftentimes, but we're not activating those muscles that are often inhibited because we're bracing so much around our lumbar spine and our, to and our psoas muscles getting so tight that we often need to get a lacrosse ball or you know, maybe go see our massage therapist for. So I hope that was a helpful hint to all my runners out there. Hope you guys got on the road this morning and took some scenic pictures. But uh, until next time, everybody, it's Dr. Perlman.